Hello everyone, I hope your day is going well. This video is per a special request from one of our clients and I thought, you know, what a subject of interest. It is tips for redesigning your patio space. So here we go. Sometimes we spend so much time focusing on interior designs that we forget about the outdoor space of our homes. Many people with patios neglect that space which means they're missing out on a beautiful outdoor retreat. If your patio decor is lacking, here are again a few tips that will add some flair. Pillows and rugs. Get floor pillows that you and your guests can use to sit on the ground for more relaxed occasions. You can also cover the ground with an outdoor rug that will bring a little warmth and color to the space. This tip is simply labeled creative seating. Hang hammocks if you'd like to use your patio for relaxing. A quiet place to think or read. If you want to make your patio extra comfortable, throw in a futon or even a daybed. Hmm, how about that? Here's a good one. Add a few potted plants to bring nature into your indoor-outdoor space. They'll brighten up the area nicely. Just make sure that the layout of your patio allows the plants or flowers to get enough sunlight to properly grow. Here's one that's near and dear to my heart, food area. If you like to eat outdoors, add a small table and a few chairs to your patio space. During the warmer months, you can head outside and enjoy dinner with a beautiful sunset, which happens many a nights in the Valley of the Sun. If you're feeling fancy, consider purchasing a bar cart, which can help you bring cocktails from the kitchen to the patio seamlessly. You can even install a tabletop fire pit if you're interested in roasting marshmallows. Hello everyone, I'm Sean Rogers, lead of the Mr. Rogers Homes real estate team here in the Valley of the Sun. I just wanted to pop in take a couple of seconds to say thank you for supporting our channel and always watching our videos. If you like what you see, make sure you click that subscribe button below and always keep an eye out for the videos that we put links to above. We think that you'll enjoy those as well. Feel free to share them. That would be amazing. In the end, we produce these videos to get the word out about Arizona real estate and we hope that you enjoy them. So stay in touch, stay safe, talk to you soon. Enjoy this video. And leave a comment if you have any questions or just like to say hi. The next tip for redesigning your patio space, curtains and partitions. To add an element of privacy, simply hang a curtain or set up a partition to separate your patio space from the outdoors. You can even repaint old shutters from your home and use them as a barrier between your patio and the rest of your yard. If you still like to get natural sunlight, choose a light colored curtain or only set up a partition on one side of the patio for partial privacy. Make your patio have a natural transition between your home and backyard. Include furniture that is a mix of both indoors and outdoors, like wicker tables and chairs. Last, but certainly not least, Lighting. Incorporate lighting so that you can use your patio at night. Whether it's a large light or a number of twinkly string lights, adequate lighting will allow you to get the most use out of your space. Remember, your patio has more potential than you might have realized. Think about how you'd like to use your space and you'd be surprised how easy it is to transform this often overlooked part of your home. Well, that concludes the top tips for redesigning your patio. Take care. Talk to you next time.